up, guys? We're about to be live on all platforms. Are you? Did you already go, Anthony? You good? Cool. We'll let a few people come in tonight, and then we'll uh, we'll do an official welcome. How's everybody doing? Good evening, Nancy. Good evening. Got your coral hat? Awesome. Let's do a song and then I'll do an official welcome on all platforms. Let's do that. That's what we'll do. I forgot my iPad tonight, so my wife's driving over right now to bring it to me. I'm gonna have to try to remember these by heart until she gets here. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for all you've done. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my turn until I met. Rebecca Maggie All my failures I've tried To hide It was my turn Until I met you Rebecca Hope you're doing better You called my name Your love 
guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're live on all platforms tonight on Christian Quotes for our, for our weekly Tuesday night, right? For our weekly Tuesday night of worship and prayer. I'm excited to, uh, to lean into prayer a little bit more tonight. Guys, prayer is needed. I don't know about you, but man, I just feel like we need to just break some strongholds tonight. I feel like we need to just, I don't know. I feel like we need to reach heaven tonight. We're going to reach heaven tonight through our prayer, through our worship. And we're going to ask God to just begin to move in situations tonight. And we're going to believe by faith. His word says that when we go to him in prayer, that when we ask and we make our requests known, that the peace that transcends all understanding will guard our hearts and will guard our minds. So I don't know about you tonight, but I need some guarding <laughs> going on in my mind because that's where the battlefield is. And as we begin to lift up requests, let's stand on that promise tonight, family. Let's stand on the promise of Scripture that as we make our requests known, that God is going to guard our heart and He is going to guard our mind in Jesus' name. Anyway, just want to welcome everybody on the live stream tonight. Welcome everybody from Christian Quotes. Guys, thank you all for joining in consistently over there on Christian Quotes. Uh, me and Anthony was going back and we were looking at Christian Quotes and just watching, seeing everybody that's uh, engaging over there and commenting. And, and so thank you guys for commenting your prayer request and all your kind words and your love and your support over on Christian Quotes. Guys, God bless you all and thank you so much for that. Thank you to TikTok. Thank you to Facebook and all the other platforms. Everybody joining in tonight. God bless you guys. And we're going to take some prayer requests here in just a little bit after we worship for a few. Yeah, so Christian Quotes is, it's a, um, it's, we're on their Facebook page live and um, they have an Instagram, they have a Facebook page. Uh, I don't know, do they have a website? Is it, it's a website, right, that they do that they help churches? Christian, just Google Christian Quotes. I think it's Christian Quotes. Christian Quotes. Info. Um, but what they do is they provide content for churches in like, in creative ways and they, they have software programs that they help churches to to make sermon guides to make um, pictures with scripture on them and they do a lot of creative elements for churches all around the world they've got like four over four million followers on their Facebook page and they're posting this live this live right here on their Facebook page um, so that's really cool really cool opportunity and we're getting people over there that are also engaging and worshiping and so it's really cool to see that
slain. Holy, holy is He. All creation I sing. Grace to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will adore You. creation I sing praise to the King of Kings you are my everything and I will adore you Nina thank you Nina all the time every live because it's it's important it really is it's not about you it's not about me it's not about anything other than you know God is reaching people right in their homes guys people that are hopeless people that feel like they're on the last straw in life ready to give up guys and the live pops up on their for you page as they're scrolling through trying to forget and wash away all the stuff that's in their mind by looking at social media and what happens is as they're sitting in the as they're sitting scrolling through social media trying to wash away all the junk that they're thinking about this live pops up with the gospel and worship and what happens is they begin to listen and the presence of God begins to reach right through the phone and bring them peace in the middle of the storm that they're going through and that's because of you guys sharing the live. So share the live tonight.
blessing and honor, strength and glory and power be to you, the only wise King. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. creation I sing praise to the King of Kings you are my everything and I will adore you Jesus and I will adore you Debbie, thank you for saying that. It's super important that everybody sees that. Debbie just said, yes, you are correct. That is how I found you, meaning that's how I found this live. So guys, because of you sharing the live, you are reaching people. God is using you in the comments. God is using you, right? It's the body of Christ in full effect. Come on, let allow God to use you tonight. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will. So Jesse said, truly saved my life tonight. See, you just don't know who the live is reaching, y'all. altars where you meet us take me there take me there if what you need is just an offering it's right here my life is here I'll be a living sacrifice for you you're a fire you're a fine I want to be I want to be tried by fire, purify, you take whatever you desire, Lord here's my life. Meg said that's exactly how I found the life back in October, thank you Meg.
this place, set it ablaze. I'll be a living sacrifice for you. You're a fire, you're a fire. I want to be consumed. I want to be tried by fire. Purified, you take whatever you Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. Somebody else just commented, hello, I was depressed when I found the live. So clean my hand, purify my heart. I want to burn for you, only for you. Take my life as a sack, thank you. Burn for you, only for you. Clean my hands, purify my heart. I want to burn for you, only for you. Take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn. Shut 
my brother thank you and I lift my voice and to worship you oh my soul rejoice take Yeah. 
God's favor, his peace would rest on you. I'm not enough. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All will see how great how great is our God. Thank you. And he's the name above all names. Oh, he's worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great. God bless y'all tonight. Deborah. The splendor of the King. He's close. Continue sharing the life tonight. He's the name above all names. Yeah, he's worthy of all praise. My heart will sing how great is our God. the name 
take a moment tonight before we get ready to get get to prayer and let's just enter in for a moment guys just tell God begin to tell God tonight how much that you love him even though we're singing he loves us we know that he loves us with all of his heart that he would leave the 99 to come after the one tonight but he wants you to worship him tonight he 
desires to hear the praises of his people. So tell him you love him tonight. Just begin to worship, begin to praise right here in this moment. You want to see things change in your life? You want to see things change in your town? You want to see things change in your community, in this nation, all across the world? Begin to worship and tell God how much you love him. He loves us. Oh, how God, we love you tonight. We love us. Oh, how He loves. And he is our prize Drawn to redemption by the grace in his eyes If grace is an ocean We're all sinking And heaven meets earth like an unforeseen kiss And my heart turns violently inside of my chest I don't have time to make when I think about the way He loves us, oh, how He loves us, oh, how He loves us, oh, how He loves us. Oh, We're so thankful tonight, Lord, that you love us. That you would leave the 99, God, to come after one. That you care about us that much, God, that you would send your only begotten Son to die on a cross for us, God. Even though we're filthy rags, even though we're messed up people, you still love us that much love us even in our mess, God. And tonight, I believe you're saying, come as you are. Come broken. Come hopeless. Come weary. Ready to receive from you, God.
Okay, we welcome you back with open arms. And I'm glad that you're here tonight. God obviously wanted you to be here, Mendoza. I worship. 
worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you. becomes about me or anyone else trust this family I will shut it down we need to consistently and constantly give praise to God I'm very thankful that you guys are in, in, as encouraging as you are to say you know that this live has changed your life or that I have but just know that I have no I have no power. It's only through the grace of God. And it's all about Him tonight. It's all about His power. It's all about His authority. It's all about His presence. It's all about what He's done at the cross at Calvary. That's why I sing. That's why I praise. He's a good, good father. you when 
peace like a river attendeth my way. Thank you. Sorrows like sea. Every victory is yours, 
Every battle is yours. It is well with my soul. I sing all oh, the bliss of this glory as thought. I sin not in part, but the whole, and it is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the job we've got about 184,000 likes and we've got 478 shares guys that means you've shared the, the live 478 times to get in front of somebody tonight the weapon may be formed but it won't prosper when the darkness falls it won't prevail the God I serve knows only how to triumph. Oh, my God will never fail. You know what? Before we sing this one, would you all just let me know in the comment section right now where you're tuning in from? All across the platforms, Christian Quotes, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Let me know where you're joining in from. Let's do some shout outs tonight. Let's do some shout outs. Florida, Colorado, Georgia, South Carolina, Ohio, Rockford, St. Louis, Winchester, Ohio, London in the house. Melbourne, Michigan, Switzerland in the house. Atlanta, Georgia in the house. California, Sweden, Indiana, Kansas, New York. Missouri, Switzerland, Montana, New Zealand, San Antonio, Canada, Haiti, Florida, Alabama. Let's see on YouTube. We've got um, Brother Barry Allison from Lexington, South Carolina. How are you, Brother Barry? Um, Michigan, Empowered Ethan, I see you. D, Washington State, I see you on YouTube. Um, Tammy, Louisiana, Denver, Louisiana, Georgia, Caprice, Jeannie, Todd, Tony, Just Jess, Ace, Sheila. I see you guys. Let's see on Facebook tonight.
Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming in the comments. Where are you tuning in from? Canada, Guatemala, Kentucky, Indonesia, Maine, Tennessee. Go rest high on that mountain. Hawaii in the house, Kansas City. Guys, thank you for being here tonight. Mississippi, I see you. Ashley, thank you for sharing the live. Yeah, share the live tonight, guys. Share that live. Uh, Vicky, I see you, Crossville, Tennessee. Vicky Glass, I see you, Christy. Um, thank you for sharing, Christy. Sandra, I see you guys in the comments. Florida, Ohio, Pensacola, Florida. Janet Norris, I see you. Just looking at the comments. Cool. Thank you guys for sharing the live tonight on Facebook too. Detroit, Indianapolis. Awesome. 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 Kentucky. Oh, let's declare tonight that we're going to see a victory in our life. Trinidad, New Jersey.
turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take, you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn. How many know we should have full dependency on the Father tonight? There's nothing in this world that we should be doing without having complete and full trust and faith and full dependency in our Father. From the time that we wake up in the morning, we should be saying, God, thank you for another day. I give you my life. I surrender. This day is yours. Hey. 
had done a lot on my own I thought I could make it all alone I thought of myself as a mighty big man Down on my knees That's where I learn to stand But I can't even walk Without you holding my hand Lord, I can't you holding my hand the mountains too high and the valleys too wide down on my knees that's where I learn to stand but I can't Keep sharing the live tonight, guys. Pray here in just a couple more songs. Here at about 9 o'clock. About 15 more minutes. We're going to pray. Cindy, I'm in Tennessee. King of Glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be. Just want to be with you. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's start right now. Why Just want to 
glory fill this place just want to be with you This shirt is one that my uh, my dad got me, um, but I've got some shirts on the way, a couple different kinds, so it won't be long. It should be this week. My God is mighty to save
my fortress He's my deliverer In Him shall I trust Praise the name of my rock I said he's my fortress he's my deliverer he's my rock he's my fortress he's my deliverer in him shall I trust the name of Jesus Sometimes marriages don't Sometimes babies die Sometimes rehab turns to relapse And you're left just asking why And for all the prayers I've prayed I still wonder if he's real If he is, how is he choosing That he does and does and he Trying to run from Jesus, I started holy wars. I tried the patient waiting and the kicking down the doors. I cursed his name in anger with my fist raised to the sky. In return, all he's ever been is kind. I burned my share of bridges Learned to tuck my tail and run Seen the wreckage in the rear view Of all the crooked things I've done But I know that He forgives me It's hard to forgive myself I can't help but think amazing grace Is for everybody else Tried to run from Jesus, I started holy wars. I tried the patient waiting, Eddie. Thank you, bro. I've cursed his name in anger with my fist raised to the sky. In return, all he's ever been. Sometimes marriages don't work And sometimes babies die Sometimes rehab turns to relapse you're left just asking why And for all the prayers I've prayed I still wonder if he's real If he is, how is he choosing Who he does and doesn't heal I tried to run from Jesus started holy wars I tried the patient waiting and the kicking down the doors I've cursed his name in anger with my fist raised to the sky in return all he's ever been
we're going to pray, guys. We are going to pray right now. So you can start letting... I'm going to, I'll be listing down prayer requests and I know Eddie, he takes down the prayer request too. So just know that if I don't hit something, you know, if I don't hit something, if I don't pray for something specific, just know we've got people on each platform taking down your prayer request on Facebook, Christian quotes on uh, my Facebook, on YouTube, on my YouTube, on TikTok. We've got people on every platform. I've got Anthony, Eddie, me, I've got family that are taking down requests and seeing them. So just know my wife, I know she does it too. So people are taking down your prayer request and we are lifting them up in prayer, not just tonight, but continuously. So go ahead and start letting us know what, what you need us to pray for tonight. And we're going to lift it up. Let us know in the comments. And if it's something that you'd rather not say in detail, just say unspoken. Yep. Thank you, Greta. Exactly. Parents divorcing, I see. For our military, yes. Chronic fatigue system, depression. Alcoholism, cancer. Overcome obstacles with your child's father. Unspoken, yes. Friends, wives in the hospital, healing. Your kids, yeah. Mental health, yep. Pain. See you, boss lady. And Pastor John also, I know he takes down the request too. So we've got like probably six or seven people, guys, that are taking down these requests and praying. Just know that. Leaders. Yes, Todd. Husband pursuing a divorce. Got you. Yes, we're about to pray. If you're just coming into the room, we're listing down prayer requests right now. We're about to lift up prayer. We are about to go to the Father, and we're going to believe by faith that, that God is going to move on these requests. Right? Scripture says that as we make our requests known, that the peace that transcends all understanding will guard our hearts, will guard our minds. So if you have mental health or, or something is overcoming and overtaking your mind tonight, whether it's pain, whether it's mental health, whether it's divorce and thinking about the divorce, and it's all of these things are usually an attack on the mind. There's one thing in common with all of these requests, and that's usually the mind. It's a battlefield. And so I love what scripture says that as you make your request known, the peace that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and guard your mind. That's what we need tonight. Let's stand on that scripture as we pray. Focus, yes. Lost sheep, yep. Second, I see you. Yep, broke out. Yep, I, I got you. Oppression, unspoken. Bringing your kids to God, yes. The prodigals. 
to return. Yeah, no, I get the, the suffering. But, you know, here's just another angle on that. Everybody that, that comes in here knows that I say this a lot. But, you know, there's something powerful. It's, you know, people always say, what, why? If God is all powerful and he's all loving, if we serve a God that's all powerful and all loving, then why is there so much suffering in the world? And I get that a lot. I mean, I get it a lot. I get it from atheist, from agnostic. I get it from different religions. I get it from, that's the main question everybody wants to ask all the time. If God is all powerful and all loving, then how is there so much famine? How is there so much suffering? And what I say is something that, that Paul said. And he said, my present suffering doesn't compare to the glory that will be revealed in me. That's what Paul said. That means my present circumstance. Thank you, Lord. My present suffering, my present struggle, this present trial, it doesn't compare to the glory of God that's going to be revealed in and through you. It doesn't compare. So just remember, as you're walking through suffering, there's a purpose. It doesn't mean that God has caused that suffering, but what it does mean is sometimes he's allowing things to happen because he knows the tra- only God knows the trajectory of your life. I see you, Pastor John, texting. I got you, YouTube, for grief. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Uh, the glory of God is going to be revealed in and through you through that suffering. So what happens is as you go through suffering, as you go through trials, cancer, God uses that. He uses your present suffering for his glory. And he uses your present suffering to draw you closer to him. And then he uses your present suffering to bless other people so that they too understand that they can draw close to God in that suffering. So I love that scripture that Paul painted this picture of my present suffering doesn't compare, he said, to the glory that will be revealed in and through him. So just remember as you're going through suffering, as you're going through pain, I know it's hard and I'm not, I'm not saying, I know there's times that it's like, God, what is going on? God, what is happening? Why did this thing happen? God, why is this happening? It doesn't make any sense, God. Why am I going through this? Why did this person have to pass away? Or why did this uh, thing have to happen? Why did I have to get cancer? Why did, God, why is this happening in my life? Remember, your present suffering doesn't compare to what God is gonna do in you and through you. That's what Paul said, it's not my words. He said that, doesn't make it any easier. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it makes it easier. But what I am saying is that God is with you through the fire, right? Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, just like Job. He he stood there before God as he lost everything, lost his family, lost everything. And he said, God, though you slay me, I will trust you. Daniel, David, Goliath, Every single one of these guys knew the struggle, but they knew that their present suffering didn't compare to what God was going to do. And so it was for the greater cause. They knew that God was going to do something amazing because of that suffering. So that's an all powerful, all loving God, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Keep bringing those prayer requests, guys. We're lifting them up tonight. That your kids, Brittany and Bradley, will be saved. I got you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Delayed application for a job. Yeah, what's what do you got? Did you Yeah, you can airdrop it to me. See if you see if the pad picks up. Keep it coming, guys. Anthony's sending me everything from Christian quotes right now.
autoimmune. Can we pray over Israel? Absolutely. Did it come in? Oh, yeah. Got it. Sheila Clark. Yep. D. Ace. Lauren. Jess. Captain. Jack. Todd. He's got you guys down here. Everybody. I, I don't have to go through all of them. He's got you down. Financial stability. Husband and children. Let's just begin to lift up prayer requests, guys. Let's believe together. Right now, in unity, we've got to come together in unity. One mind, one accord. Allow your faith to rise up. Look, that's why we worship. To tear down strongholds, to tear down these walls so that we can go to the Father, that we can tune out all the other noise that's happening in our life. Right now, wherever you're at, tune out the noise. Tune out everything that's going on around you and just begin to pray and lift up these prayer requests too. How powerful would it be that 622 people and how many are ever on, on Facebook and YouTube all praying at the same time in unity from all around the world? It's powerful. It's powerful. God, we thank you tonight. We thank you, Lord, that we can come together from all around the globe in one accord, God, in unity tonight to lift up prayer requests. And God, we believe by faith tonight we are going to allow our faith to rise. You said just, just faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed that you, we could speak to the mountain to be removed and it would be removed, God. And so we're allowing our faith to rise up tonight, God. We know that there are so many things going on, so many requests being made tonight. And God, you know each request and your word says that when we make our requests known, that the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard our hearts and guard our minds. So God, I pray that as we lift up these prayer requests tonight, God, that your peace, I'm just calling on what your scripture says, God. I'm calling on the promises of God, that your, script, that your peace would settle on their hearts, that your peace would settle on their minds tonight as we lift up these prayer requests. The ones that are tormented in their mind over thinking about the cancer, over thinking about the loss and the grief, over thinking about their prodigals to return. God, the torment and the thoughts and the worry and the concerns, the fears, the anxieties. God, I pray that your peace would completely encircle them, that your peace would just completely camp around them, God, that it would be in their mind, in their heart, in their soul, in their spirit, God. God, we're thankful we understand that suffering is not easy. That when we're walking through these trials, it is hard. But we believe, God, that just as Paul said, our present suffering doesn't compare to the glory that's going to be revealed, God. So I'm praying for the ones that are going through suffering right now, Lord. The ones that are suffering, that you would allow them to see what that is, God. That, that you're going to use it for some cause, for some reason. God, allow them to see it in clarity, to know that you're moving, to know that you're working. And even though it may not look like it, and even though it may not seem like it, even though it may not feel like it, that you are good and you are working. God, we lift up marriages to you tonight. God, the ones that are facing divorce right now, there was several. God, I'm praying that you intervene. God, would you intervene tonight in these marriages that are, that are facing divorce, God? Would you bring peace? Would you bring strength to the marriage? God, would you bring just a renewing to their marriage that's never been before? And God, as they seek you, as they draw close to you, I believe you will draw them closer to each other. But God, put a passion in their heart. Light a fire under their seat, God, to, to, to seek after you. God, I'm lifting up anxiety, fear, worry, concern constant stress in the mind, PTSD, mental health torment in your mind. 
If that's you tonight and it's constant torment in your mind, I'm praying this prayer over you. God, allow your peace. We curse it. We curse this depression. We curse this anxiety. We curse this oppression. We curse this PTSD. We curse this worry. We curse these fears, these doubts. God, and I'm praying that you replace it right now, even, even right now in this moment. God, that it would be replaced with your peace. We're praying for the prodigals to come home, God. God, move on the prodigal sons and the prodigal daughters tonight, Lord. The ones that have that have walked away or strayed away, God. We believe that they're still in your hand. You still hold them, God. And we're asking that you draw them back to you. God, put somebody in their path. Put somebody in their way, God, that speaks your name, that speaks the name of Jesus to where they can't get away from it, God. That everywhere they go, they're here in the name of Jesus. Bring them back to you, Father. God, I'm lifting up cancer. I see lymphoma. Your son, Deborah, for lymphoma and colon cancer. Tina, healing for your mind, body. Sheila, for your blood pressure. God, I'm lifting up everybody that needs a healing right now. Lauren. praying for everybody that needs healing right now. God, we believe that you are the healer. We do believe that you're the great physician, God. We believe it with all of our hearts. God, we trust in you with all of our heart. We lean not on our own understanding. We acknowledge you right here in this moment. We're saying breathe into this situation, God, everybody that needs a healing. God, would you breathe into this situation, breathe into their body, new life. God, new, just a renewing God. Just heal them, Lord. Heal their mind. Heal their body. Heal them emotionally. Heal them physically. Heal them spiritually. God, heal them. By your stripes, we are healed. And we can declare that healing. By the power in you, God. Captain Jack, this is one that I can relate to. I feel like there's been attacks constantly lately, guys. There's just been spiritual attack, physical attack. And, uh, you know, I was just really looking forward to lifting up in prayer tonight, um, especially for all the requests for healing for, for the mind, but for very specifically tonight, even for spiritual attacks for mental attack, for, for physical attacks. So I want us in this moment together to just believe right now that if you're experiencing attacks from the enemy, whether it's physical sickness, whether it's depression, whether it's uh, spiritual, whatever's going on, whatever attacks, people saying things about you that aren't true or, or, or things happening that doesn't make any sense and it's just like, where is this attack coming from? If you're experiencing those kind of attacks in your life, I want you to believe right now, God, we curse every lie of the enemy. God, we curse every evil thing and we say, bring it to light, God. Reveal the truth, God. I pray that through the light and through the power of God, that every dark thing would be brought to light in the name of Jesus. That every dark thing, every dark shadow, every dark thing that's being said in the dark, God, every lie of the enemy would be brought to the light of Jesus. That it would be revealed and that your truth would be known. That the truth of the situation would be known. That God, your truth and your word would be known. We curse every plan that the enemy has. And we pray that you expose it. Yes, expose every evil plan that the enemy has. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God, we thank you tonight. <laughs> For your peace, God. God, I lift up um, people that have anger. There's so many. So many of us, if we're being honest, if we want to really be transparent tonight, there's so many of us that deal with anger. And uh, God, I just lift up people that are dealing with anger, maybe bitterness in their heart. Maybe it's a, a root of bitterness or a root of unforgiveness. And it's caused anger to take hold in their life. God, we curse that anger. We curse it, God. And we're asking, Lord, that you would remove it. Remove this anger from their life, God. Remove this negative uh, feeling and this negative emotion constantly, God. That they would see uh, the positive things of life, God. That they would see your truth. That they would see your peace. God, we're praying that you would remove all anger and replace it with the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. God, our very source of strength is your joy. I pray that you replace this anger with your joy, God. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord. You're moving, you're moving. Still healing, still moving. Still saving. God, I pray for all the unspoken requests tonight. God, you know. You know the unspoken requests, God. You know their hearts. You know what's going on in their family. You know what's going on in their household. You know what's going on in their life. And God, I'm praying and I'm lifting up these unspoken requests and that you would meet the need of your people, God, according to your purpose and according to your plan, God. Meet the needs. Lord, your will be done in this situation. God, I pray that you would reveal your plan to people that they would understand we don't always understand, and, and sometimes you don't reveal that, God, and we, and we get that. But I'm asking that you would reveal, reveal things to people, God, that they would maybe have a, a little bit of an understanding of why it's happening, God. Give them clarity, Lord. God, we lift up people to come to you tonight, all the people that aren't saved tonight. God, you're just moving in a mighty way on this live, and people are giving their heart to God God, we pray that you would continue to move in these lives, Lord. God, continue to move on social media like never before. God, we pray for revival to sweep through this nation, to sweep through this world, God. That people would come to know you at the ends of the earth. God, to the ends of the earth that people would come to salvation, God, through this live, Lord. That you would use this live and that way you already have been. God, I believe that you're still doing it and that you're still that you're going to in the future. And God, we believe you for it. We believe for it. We have faith that you're going to do it. Lifting up addiction tonight. Anybody struggling with addiction? Drugs, alcohol, pornography, uh, anything that you've made an idol, honestly, addiction or an idol. Addictions and idols. Let's just lift up addictions and, and things that we've created and made idols before God. Anything that, that separates you from God tonight. Anything that separates you from uh, um, being close to God and giving more time to God. That's, that's anything that separates you from His presence has become an idol in our lives. Let's lift up idols and let's lift up addiction tonight. God, I lift up every single person that's going through addiction, the drugs, alcohol, pornography, lust. Uh, God, going through these things, Lord, we pray. God, we, we just, we curse addiction. <laughs> Lord, it's such a nasty, nasty disease. And it's such a, a vicious cycle of attack from the enemy. And God, we pray that you would loose this grip 
of, uh, of the enemy's hold through addiction. God, loose it. Break this stronghold off of people's lives now in the name of Jesus. Break every stronghold, God. Break every stronghold. Every stronghold. In Jesus' name. Every chain. Every chain to be broken and loose tonight. We thank you for it, God. Thank you. I believe that you're healing people that, that have addiction, God, and to let them know that they can overcome, that they are overcomers through you, God, that we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. God, let people understand they need to share their story because there's power in, our, in their story, God, that there's power in their testimony, that they are literally overcomers by their testimony, by sharing their story, God. You said it, Lord, in your word that we are overcomers. That we will overcome. Thank you for it, Lord. We thank you that people with addiction can overcome tonight through you, God. Thank you, Lord. God, I lift up each and every person even that's watching this live right now on all platforms, Christian quotes, God. We lift up their what they're doing, God, what they're doing for this world and, and what they're doing for churches, God, and how they're providing content and helping pastors and helping leaders. And God, I pray that you would bless them, Lord, that your favor would be on their business and what they're doing. God, I pray for other businesses in the live right now, the people that are watching and they're, they're, they've got a small business. God, I lift up their small businesses to you, God, and I just pray that you would bless those businesses, that those uh, businesses, and that you would uh, that your favor, God, would be on every single one of these businesses, God, according to your plan, always according to your purpose, God. But Lord, I pray that your favor would be on them. God, bless them, bless them as they seek you, God, as they draw close to you, bless them, God, bless them, God. May them, yeah, may they prosper, Lord. May they prosper, Father God. God, we, uh, we tear down the, the stronghold of negativity. People that just from the morning they wake up to the, to the setting of the sun, it's like nothing but negativity constantly coming out of their mouth coming out of their heart and their mind. God, I lift up each person that is going through that type of negativity. God, I pray that you would replace it. God, replace it with your joy, with the joy of the Lord that is our strength, God. Thank you in advance, Jesus, yes. DJ is lagging. The live's lagging. How about now? Interference. Yeah, everybody's saying it's lagging and having interference. All right. God, we pray for this lagging even right now, Lord, the interference. and the, God, you know what the situation is, Lord, <laughs> whether it's something physical here or on my end, whatever it is, God, I pray that you would just, just help us with the interference, Lord. God, we thank you for it. Look, I believe in lifting up even little details. I believe that you can make your request known to God. Yes, 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 Satan is. He wants to tear it down, family, trust me. He is attacking like never before. Listen, the attacks that I've been facing, even personally, my family, me, and this live, and the attacks that's been going on, it is unheard of. It is unheard of. And I'm telling you tonight, Tonight, I take authority over those things. By the power of God, He will reveal everything, every lie, every evil mm -hmm. thing, every dark thing that the enemy is trying to do. And I know it will be brought to the light. In Jesus' name. Thank you. 
That's right, we serve a greater God. He is bigger, he is better, he is greater. DJ. God, we lift up tonight our police officers, our first responders, our emergency crew. Listen, I'm going to lift up our leaders, our country, this nation. But just know because of these things, we're lifting up our country. We're lifting up leaders. We're lifting up our, our police officers. Guys, do you think the devil wants us doing that together all around the world in one moment, lifting up these things together? Do you think he is happy about that? He is mad. He is mad. He is mad. Lift up doctors, nurses, medical staff, our leaders, our president, uh, his, his cabinet, his team, and his staff, church leaders, pastors, first responders, emergency. God, you know. You know the things that these people go through constantly, God. The things that they have to go through helping people. It is not easy. It is not easy. God, I pray that you would restore them. God, re restore the joy of their salvation, God, as they're going through these things and as they as they sometimes grow weary in what they're doing. God, restore the joy of, your, of, your, of their salvation. God, give them wisdom. Give our leaders wisdom to make the right decisions. God, give them a wisdom that only comes from you, God. God, my prayer is that you bring this nation to our knees, humbly before you, God. Every knee is going to bow. Every tongue will confess one day that you are God. We pray for Jerusalem. Yes, we pray for Israel. We pray for God. You know, this is your nation. God, this is your place. This is God. We lift it up and we say, God, any evil thing that the enemy is trying to, to do to come against it, God, we bind that in the name of Jesus. We break those strongholds through your power, through your authority, God. We tear down every stronghold that exalts itself against you, God. Thank you, Lord. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Begin to thank him tonight. Thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Our military, too. God, we lift up our military. Be with them. The things they have to see, the things that they have to go through, the PTSD, the stress, the anxiety. God, fill them with your peace, with your joy. God, give them the wisdom and the knowledge and the choices that they're making as they're even over on battlegrounds. God, to give them the strategic plans of what they need to do to conquer what they're doing, God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. God, I lift up people going through fear, fearing death, fearing sickness, fearing everything in life, fearing living. God, we know that all fear is cast out in your perfect love. So God, my prayer is that they would seek you, that they would seek your love, God, that they would, that they would read your word, that they would pray. And as they experience your love, I believe that, that all that fear will be cast out because that's what your word says. We stand on that tonight. That your perfect love cast out all fear. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. DJ, you're welcome, my brother. God bless you, bro. Thank you for all you do, brother. Guys, thank you so much. 
God, we thank you tonight for all of these requests. And just know that we are going to continue to lift up these requests. That we're, we're doing it every single day. We are lifting up these requests. God, I want to lift up one more thing. God, my prayer is that you would draw people right now. That's under the sound of my voice. Draw them to you, God. Let them grow spiritually, God. For their spirit, God, I pray for their spiritual growth. That they would understand, Lord, that how can we go without physical food? We would go hungry and we would starve. And how much more do we starve spiritually, God, by not feeding on your word? So, God, my prayer is that that a seed would be planted even right now, God, that they would seek you, God, that they would seek your face, that they would know you, that they would read your word, that they would pray, God, grow them spiritually in you so they wouldn't be starving, God, for your word. If there's anybody here that is, that is God, just place a passion in their life to seek after you, God, light a fire under their seat, God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God, I thank you for each and every person here tonight. And we call these things as done, God. We lift them up to you. And we say thank you, God, in advance for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, in advance for the things that you're already working on. For the needs that you're already meeting. God, we thank you. We thank you in advance. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Love you guys. God bless y'all. Continue, guys. I hope I hope that this live at the end of the day, my hope is that this live would inspire you. That this live would encourage you that this live would uplift you, that this live would challenge you into a stronger relationship with Almighty God. That you would realize your need for God tonight. Now let's worship tonight and let's believe that God is meeting these requests tonight, that he's meeting the needs of these prayer requests. Oh, my words fall short. I've got nothing new. How could I express Oh my gratitude I could sing these songs as I often do every song I stand and you never do so I throw up my hands I praise you again and again Nothing else fit for a 
king Except for a heart singing Hallelujah Hallelujah I've got one response I've got just one Stretch wide, I will worship you. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. All that I have is a YouTube is frozen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I know it's not. Come on, my soul, won't you get shy on me? Lift up your son, you've got a lion inside of mine. Get up and praise the Lord. Come on, my soul, don't you get shy on me? Lift up your son, you've got a lion. Side of those lungs, get up and praise the Lord. Come on, my soul, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your soul. You got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Oh, come on, my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your soul. You got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. All that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. I know it's not much, but nothing else fit for a king, except for a heart singing hallelujah. Don't you get shy of me, lift up your song. You've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Oh, come on, my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. You've got a lion. Inside of those lungs, get up and praise the Lord. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Okay, I just disconnected from Wi-Fi. See if that makes it better. Could be the internet here out for a minute. Hold on one second. It's going to pause for a second. I want to go make sure my Wi-Fi is off. All right, my Wi-Fi was still on. So now it's running off of a... How's yours? Hey, Anthony, how's YouTube? Really? YouTube's good though? Okay. All right. It might have been my Wi Fi searching for signal, probably because it was on. But we have really good internet here, so we've got fiber, so the Wi Fi should be really good. 
I mean, that's why Anthony's using the same Wi-Fi for YouTube. So I don't understand. That can't be it. Yeah, I was about to say it's got to. It can't, that can't be it. Okay. It's, they said it's cutting out really bad. Yeah, John said YouTube's not though. Just I'm, I'm just talking about TikTok. Guys, let me turn this off for a second. Come on, my soul. Don't you get shy of me. I'll raise a hallelujah. Yeah. All right, we're going to end the restream anyway. It's pretty much 10 o'clock, and we've prayed and worshiped. So let me pray for a restream. And, and uh, I'm going to try to start doing YouTube a little more as much as I can. But we'll definitely do Sundays and Tuesdays. Um, on YouTube. So just remember that guys, everybody that's watching on YouTube tonight um, and Christian Quotes Facebook, uh, we will be doing live Sunday nights and Tuesday nights uh, unless we decide a different day or something, but we will let you know. But for now, we're going to keep Sunday nights and Tuesday nights. So uh, I'm going to pray for you guys so we can end our restream. So God, we just thank you tonight, Lord, for every single person um, that's joined the live tonight, God. Um, just pray that you would be with them, Lord. Lord, strengthen them. Continue to work in their lives, God. Uh, no matter what's going on in their life, Lord, I pray that you would give them strength. Give them, let them be courageous. Let them be bold in their faith for you, God, that everywhere they go, they shout and scream the name of Jesus over every situation, over every circumstance, God, that we would shout the name of Jesus over our families. God, I shout the name of Jesus over them, over their families, over their businesses, over their households, over their children. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for it. We give you all the praise tonight in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you're watching on Restream tonight and uh, you've never given, or if you're watching on Christian Quotes, Facebook, or, or my Facebook, or YouTube, and you've never given your heart to God, I want to give you an opportunity to do that. If you're watching on TikTok and you've never given your heart to God, I want to give that opportunity um, for you to give your life to God. It's a very simple prayer. And just know that it's all about surrender. But say, God, I know I'm a sinner in need of your grace. God, would you forgive me of my sins and wash me clean? Would you come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior? God, I surrender all I am to you right now. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe in my heart that he was raised from the dead on the third day and that he's coming back again. So God, would you lead me and would you guide me as I surrender my life to you and I accept the free gift of salvation and I thank you for it. God, I choose to follow you. I choose to worship you no matter the cost. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, everybody on Restream, we will, uh, on Christian uh, Quotes, we will see you guys um, next Sunday night. So God bless y'all and good night.